You know, Lloyd, just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber, you go and do something like this. And totally redeem yourself! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it's the Veteran Biker. I've got one question for you. What is Harley Davidson doing? What are they thinking? What the hell are they thinking? And we're going to talk about it. Now, they've made some decisions over the past few months, few years, that have really turned some people off to bikes. Number one, the cost of Harley Davidsons are going through the roof. Okay. Number two, they're not bringing in new blood. New riders cannot afford to buy these bikes. So there's a couple of bad decisions. The newest bad decision, in my opinion, is has to do with the 120th anniversary birthday celebration, for lack of a better term, the 120th, that they're putting on in Milwaukee. Now, what they're doing here, and I'm going to tell you what pisses me off with Harley-Davidson, is... So it's a big birthday party, and it's a celebration of America. It's a celebration of freedom. It's a celebration of what made Harley-Davidson the company that it is or was. It's what made the Harley-Davidson company what it was, and that is the hardworking Americans that buy bikes. There's people all around the world that buy bikes because they want to ride a, a V-twin, American-made V-twin, and they want to have that open road and that freedom. Well, you know what, Harley Davidson, I think you screwed up on this one with this birthday party celebration. You, uh, number one, the tickets for the concert, 200 and I think they started 180, go up to 500 bucks for the VIP package. You announced, you had a really minute little announcement in your reveal video that you came out with on January the 18th that made my forehead wrinkle and a chill run down my spine with the lineup that you had coming in to headline this birthday celebration. So Foo Fighters, I like the Foo Fighters. Dave Grohl used to play with Nirvana, was the drummer, and now he's the lead uh, with Foo Fighters. Plays all the instruments, he's a bit of a control freak, whatever. It is what it is. I like Foo Fighters, I've paid good money to go see them in concert multiple times. I like them. Uh, do I agree with everything politically with those guys? No, but I love their music, right? Um, I uh, most recently went on the Break a Leg tour. Now, the other band is Green Day. And that's where my blood is boiling. So, Harley Davidson uh, sells itself as, you know, this freedom motorcycle, riding the open road, enjoying the freedom, riding the American road, going to all these American uh, rallies and selling freedom. You know, you've got freedom, the open road, the hair, wind in your hair, bugs in your teeth, all this other stuff, right, that we all love. We love it. I love it. They support veterans. They support this. There's so many good things that they've done in the past. Well, you've screwed the pooch with this one, brother. Green Day, the lead singer for Green Day, and I'm not going to say his name on this channel because I can't stand the guy. Well, last year when the Supreme Court overturned a big uh, law that shouldn't have ever been a federal law, it should have went back to the states, and that's what it did, this guy goes on stage in London, England, and I've lived there, and announces on stage that he's going to renounce his citizenship. And I'll show that clip here. <laughs> Fuck America, I'm fucking renouncing my citizenship. I'm fucking... And he gives the big F you to the United States and to America and says he's going to move to Canada. Well, guess what? There's a lot of other idiots that said they were going to move to Canada and they're still here. And they're still making money off the backs of hardworking Americans. So I will not be going to the concert. I'm kind of on the fence right now of going to the 120th celebration. 
This pisses me off. Harley Davidson, I don't know what you're thinking. Marketing department, I know you two guys that are doing this is named Harry and Lloyd. Get on your moped, ride to Aspen, fix it, find another band. We don't need Green Day. This uh, lead singer for Green Day hates us so much that he renounces his citizenship, but I guess I guarantee you he will not turn down these uh, $100 bills that are going to be spent on tickets to go see it. Me personally, I vote with my wallet, and I can't support this. Harley, you've got all these t-shirts with freedom and the open road and we love America on it. Well, why don't you fix what you've got going on here for the 120th celebration Get Green Day out of this. They they don't want they don't like ninety nine percent of the people that are going to be attending, but they do like all our money. Harley, fix it. Everybody else out there, I'll see you on the road. Veteran Bikers out.